the Wall Street Journal's Joanna Stern uh, with us now. Joanna, you, um, you chronicle this stuff. You test this stuff. Um, the, the product itself doesn't scare me, but there has never been a consumer electronics product that I am more afraid of getting hacked. I, you know, the reaction I had to this, I think, is is probably how most people are feeling. On one hand, technically, I'm like, holy crap, look at this thing. We can have a drone that autonomously flies around our house and can look at things when we're not there. Seems creepy, but technically kind of amazing. 2020, not the best year, but by 2020, we've got a, an autonomous drone in our house. On the other side, you're sort of like, Hell no. I mean, I'm not going to put this product from a major tech company in my house with the risk of it getting hacked, that it gets uh, it, that that Amazon itself has access to this footage. Um, there are so many security and privacy questions in that second bucket that it's, I, I think, really hard to figure out which one to focus on first. Joanna, though, it's interesting that, that it does have that reflex uh, response, I think. We all probably have that. But materially, is it much different than having a fixed camera in your home? In other words, what happens to, to that data? Do you think that there's sort of a, a line that separates those things? I, I mean, yes. If you've been a person who's installed a, a fixed camera in your house or multiple cameras in your house, you may not think this is all that different, except for the fact that it's autonomous and it can go to different spots. Uh, and, and I heard, I also spoke with Dave Limp after uh, yesterday's event and heard a little bit about how that intelligently works. You program it. This is not something you can actually manually control. So um, I think it's not too dissimilar, but of course, the idea that this thing could have a mind of its own and go to areas, you know, that, that yeah. gets into some, some tricky territory. Now, of course, fixed cameras have their mind of their own, too. They can pan around the room as well. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, what's your maybe uh, top line uh, takeaways from the, the array of, uh, of new product introductions here? Are we talking about, you know, just incremental updates or do you think that there are some game changers in there? I mean, I, I think I had the same reaction that the game changer is this drone. I think both on from a technical perspective, but also pushing the limits in terms of what are consumers going to be okay with. I think that is a big question I have as I look at all this stuff. What is the percentage of the market that thinks Amazon is doing something really innovative and different here at, versus this is super creepy and I don't want it? I mean, in response to the tweet I had yesterday, I saw a lot of people excited, a lot of people certainly worried about their cats or thinking their cats are going to defeat this thing instantly and then people that were you know sort of on the were well definitely the dystopian people who are also saying privacy absolutely no way so amazon probably has a good idea of the sense of that market